What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Vintage Cube draft here on the Vintage Cube machine. Fire, there's the old Fire Covenant, the secret layer version. Good times, good times. Um, Got a Misty, Steam Vent, Leovold, Cryptic Command, Blooded Strand. Do any of these cards compel me? Leovold kind of does. For obvious reasons. So, pretty easy Misty for me here. Fascinating. Keith, it says listening only by your um, by your name, your Twitch names, <laughs> yet you're able to see the pack, so I feel like that's a lie. Uh, I've been a nerd since, God, when was I born? I don't know. Decades ago, so... I, I like Leovold. I like taking cards that inform my future land choices, not lands that inform my future card choices. Interesting. Coalition Relic seems very good. It's also a Bolus of Citadel, which is not nothing. Yeah, I think we're taking Coalition Relic here. I lowered the lights a little because they're kind of burning my fucking eyes. Like, I would have a huge headache. Let me see if I can raise them to 40 and maybe that's a sweet spot. Like, because I'm basically staring, like, directly at, like, some key lights. Yeah, I'm going to take Coalition Relic. Zurin Orb. Fascinating. Could take Marsh Flats. I don't think it's Dream Halls. Like, Dream Halls costs five. Like, I don't know. Nice Legacy Cube so far. I mean, the Vintage Cube is the Legacy Cube with, like, nine extra cards. Like, we know what it is. Let's take this Bowmasters. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. I almost didn't recognize it because the, the Bowmasters I picked up are the borderless ones, so... Uh, I think we're going to take Talisman of Curiosity here. On color Talisman that lets us keep blue up if we cast it is pretty good. Yeah, got a Terra Sunder. Terra Sunder's pretty sweet. There's a Flash. We could take Flash and, like, try to find things that will go along with it. Um, I kind of like that. I don't love Dig, because I'm not sure we're going to be a Dig deck. Like, I don't know how many cards we're actually getting in the graveyard. I'd kind of just like to try Flash and see what we can do with it. I mean... This was this is a new addition to the cube, and I want to see if it's actually worth anything. I can also take this talisman of resilience. This is two on color talismans. That's pretty sweet. Protean Hulk is not in the queue, and that was the first question I asked. Also, if you guys don't follow me on YouTube, definitely be sure to check me out on YouTube, because I posted a video just yesterday about the 108 changes that took place in the cube. And I go over all of them. And this is a Baleful Strix, and I'm pretty sure we're taking that. Worm Coil Engine's not bad with Flash. You get two 3-3s, three but... Two cards for two 3-3s three is not really... The most exciting? I actually kind of want to try Kin and Bonder Prodigy here. And whenever you have to have a non land permanent for mana, which we have many of, that seems like a really great pickup for us. 
Weird. The um, the Misty didn't didn't wheel. Definitely taking Ugin here. We have a lot of ramp. I'm only following your YouTube if it's hot tub streams and pedicures. We can do manicures. Um, that's that's about as that's about as far as I'll go though. We gotta have some limitations. Hot tub, <laughs> maybe, maybe manicures in the hot tub. Totally normal. I don't. I don't mind a questing beast. We could just take nurturing peatland, but good lord, we're going to be taking a lot of damage from that and our talismans. Not the most ideal land here. Questing beast, however, is kind of a beast. I want to take beast because I don't think we're a bolus citadel deck. I'll take a kogla. They're just playable creatures. They're fine. There's a spicy artifact, both for flash and tinker. Yeah, the nine individual. Yeah, the right. The triplicate thing. Endurance is fine. Oh, Terra Sunder came back. That's main deckable. I actually should have taken Hanger back there because it's playable. What do we got here? Oh, baby. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I do love Tinker. I do. I actually like Urtai a lot. I don't really. Forcible is fine, but oh, uh, yeah, we're definitely taking Oko. That's the that's the ticket. And then we're gonna get past a mox emerald, so that's pretty sweet. Wow, can you imagine if there was a mox emerald in here? We'll take underground C. Very, very easy underground here. Oh, see, Donkey, thank you for the bits, buddy. Along with one Ive. Solid. Solid. <laughs> it was only a matter of time before he picked up some, some Sultai nonsense in the Vintage Cube, right? Oh, Water Grave. That's, that's almost as good as an underground. So no, 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 no. That guy's good. This is fine. I think for this kind of deck, I'd rather just have my fixing and this kind of deck being a deck that has three colors. Oops, I have missed you. <laughs> See, Donkey, appreciate it, buddy. I mean, we can we can take a demonic tutor too, or we can just draw it every game. That'd be fine too, right? Oko's probably not going to make the cut. We'll just put him in the sideboard. What is this white that it's doing whenever it whenever a new pack comes up? Is that happening for anyone else? Like when you draft the cube, when you're like drafting. Does the screen flash white? I think Botanical Sanctum is... Yeah, I'm going to watch him out of Forget He's in the sideboard and then just not play him. I think it's Botanical Sanctum. I also like Rexage a lot. But I do think it's Sanctum. Liliana's fine, but we're not really a Liliana deck. Oh. Oh, dang it. I thought it was Zagoth Triumph. That would have been so much better. 
Urza's actually not terrible here. We have Baleful Strix, Talisman, Talisman, Coalition Relic so far. I'm going to take the Urza. Oh, Verdant Catacomb? Well, that's fantastic. Are we an upheaval deck? I'm tempted to be an upheaval deck. Also, World Spine Worm. That's a that's a card for Flash. Yeah, let's take the worm. We're trying out the worm. So let's try out the worm. Tendrils of Agony. Fascinating. Him to Torok. There's a high tide, too. Some people are gonna get some flash cards pretty late. Um I think we're double black enough to be hemming. Plus, I don't think we need Devoted Druid when we have double talismans and, and a Kinnon Bonder, so. Oh, Urtai came back? That's great. Um. Yeah, someone was talking, someone left a comment on the YouTube video about flashing Sundering Titan. And I'm just like, but one of the best parts of Sundering Titan is getting an 8 8. Like. Eh, Blooming Marsh is pretty good. I'm not going to take Call. I don't think we have enough creatures to really make it great. I'll take Recurring Nightmare. I mean, is anything else really... Like, nothing else is really good with Flash right now. That's the problem. Like, how many cards do you need to make it good? Uh, I'll take a Dothy... Wow, that was weird. All right, take a Dothy Voidwalker, sure. Titan of Industry is fine. Titan of Industry was a card they mentioned in the article about like flashing into play, but I'm like, you get a you get one four four, and then you get like five life. I'm like, that's not worth two cards to me. Another triome that is not ours. Fallen Shinobi's back. Whenever I have a Baleful Strix, I feel like taking Fallen Shinobi is just kind of necessary. So we're gonna take Fallen Shinobi. There's a lot of things that can come back. The Triome would be fine. Acidic Slime would be fine. Massacre Worm. Oh, wow. Primeval Titan. See, again, like Primeval Titan, they were talking about that too, and I'm like, okay, but there are cards. Like Rampant Growth is literally two mana and you get one land. Flashing Primeval Titan is four, four mana and you, you lose two cards to get two lands. It's just two Rampant Growths. Which is not super exciting. Well, you don't always have to play them on four. Like, you can literally just go Baleful Strix into, like... I mean, whenever you're able to get through with this guy is totally fine. This pack is actually fantastic. There's Thief of Sanity, Primeval Titan, and Rona that I really like. I think it might just be Primeval Titan. The Thief of Sanity is also really good, and a good Fallen Shinobi trigger. Trigger. <laughs> I like talismans better than signets a lot. Yeah, uh, I think it's a it's a significant improvement. I'm gonna take primeval titan here. I guess we're taking thief of sanity. <sighs> Can someone click clip that, please? That's super frustrating whenever that happens. Literally clicked on the to titan and dragged it down. Like, how does why does this happen every time? I I hate that I literally have to remember to do that. Like to to double click on it almost. Chromos Seed Shark actually seems pretty good. Like, I just don't think Noxious Gear Hulk for the cost is very good. I think I like the Seed Shark here. Uh, we're definitely not only Demir. Like most of our, we have a ton of fixing lands. We also have Leovold, Oko, and Kin and Bonder, which I which I want to play. Uh, I don't see any reason why we'd be Demir. We also only have like sixteen playables if we were just Demir. Now we get to pick up a sweet Bayou. Um, Chart of course seems great. So does Infernal Grasp actually. Just having creature removal is pretty good. 
I, I don't hate Nissa, but we don't. I don't think we have enough forces to, forces <laughs> to make it work. Um, was there a Woodfall Primus? Did I miss a Woodfall Primus? I mean, I still think I'm taking Bayou over Woodfall Primus, but I do like Charter Course here. I think I have enough forms of card advantage. Maybe I'll just take Infernal Grasp because it's a pretty solid removal spell. No, I can't pass up a chart, of course. Oh, Creeping Tar Pit. Oh, man, fourth year Olingus. I'd love to play this. I guess we just have to take Tar Pit, though, because it's really good and it's in our colors and it's really good. I actually really like Hex Drinker. Like, I just, again, like, looking at this now, I just don't feel like we have enough targets for it. Like, not only does it have to be in our hand, but, like, we have to have both of these and have to have a 15 drop in our hand. It's Hextrinker's actually really good. I, I might just take Hextrinker here. Phantasmal Image is a good answer for a lot of threats, though. I think Phantasmal Image is more well-rounded. Like, if they have something good that you just want to kill, like, Phantasmal Image is great at that. Palantir of Orthanc. This could be just a great low-curve deck. I also love Vraska with, with Oko because you can make the food token and then sack the food token to gain a life and draw a card. Plussing both of them. Hmm. That is tempting. I'm going to take the Palantir because we have Urza. And I think it's probably pretty... Wow, none of those cards came back. That's really sad. I mean, I'll take Scavenging Ooze. We also have Echo of Eons, which could go good with, with Leovold. Do we have a way to discard it effectively? Probably not. Chart, of course. Oh, Rona came back, though. That's pretty cool. Yogmoth, huh? There's a Yogmoth, a Mind's Desire, Colgon. This pack is actually really sick. This is a sick five cards. Oh, well, Yogmoth's the only card we even remotely play, I think, so... Soul transfer is fine. Not exciting. Force of Vigor is actually pretty decent here. I'll take Golos. Okay. Well, the way the math works out is that, like, you have 40 cards and they have 20 life, right? So... Theoretically, it's going to be very hard for them to mill you while not killing themselves in the process. Because they only need to mill 20 cards to kill themselves. So, if you're milling at the same rate you're killing, <laughs> which you are, then, like, you're always going to be ahead. They would have to gain, like, an extra 10 life in order to, to have more cards. Because you're... Presuming you're going to draw, like, 10 to 15 cards, right? So... Let's, I'm just taking out Flash and World Spine Worm. Like, if I had one bribery, I would have played it over over these two. I don't think we're in Ugin deck. Maybe this is just the top end of our curve here. <laughs> it's weird because we have a lot of ramp. We have Coalition Relic. We have two Talismans, a Kinnon Bonder Prodigy. This seems like a solid value Sultai deck. And we also have a a lot of good, a lot of good lands. Yeah, like if we did go, <clears throat> if we did go Demir here, like we're losing both of these. We're not losing them, but like we lose the green portion. And then we have to take out all of these things. So six cards, we're going to 18 playables and then we have to find a lot. I mean, we're trying to cut a card. I don't think we're going to main deck Force of Vigor. <clears throat> and we also have Terra Sunder, which gets rid of any permanent. Which seems fine. I mean, like, just even without Echo of Eons, like, Oko's, or uh, Leovold's just a satisfying card. Like, if they try to kill it, you draw a card, they can't draw their cards, like... I 
I don't know why this is in here. This is such a weird inclusion into the vintage cube. Like this replaced metal worker. Really? Like that's so weird. I mean, I think this would be stronger if you could choose each one, if you could use, if you could choose a mode twice, right? Because then you can literally flash and make two four fours and it's kind of like a crashing footfalls. You're still using two cards instead of one, but it has a similar effect. I think we just cut Ugin, even though it's like, maybe put Titan instead of Ugin. Maybe we do put some big green idiots. I don't think we're gonna play this guy. This is 11 mana, which is a lot. Is this only creatures or is it? Yeah, it's non-human creatures. I mean, we still have good creatures. We still have like, I guess that's a human, that's a human. I guess these are the four that we're probably gonna get. I guess so. I mean, like, if you're hitting something, you're getting value off of it because it's like, just a free card. It's, it's expensive, but it's the card itself is not costing you anything. We need one more cut. Maybe Dothy Voidwalker? I don't know. That guy gets in there, but double black. I think it's actually probably fine. <laughs> Um, I'd like to say we're not an Urza deck, but we do have five art artifacts before turn four. And Urza's just good on its own as well. And Seed Sharks makes, uh, artifact creatures. I don't really like cutting this because it doubles the mana on Talismans and Coalition Relic which is really cool for this more expensive stuff. Plus the, the, the seven mana ability just puts things into play for free like Urza. Um, plus I haven't played him in the cube, so I'd like to try him. Like a lot, of, a lot of times I'm just playing to like actually see how the cards play as well. I feel like it's Dothy Voidwalker. <sighs> he can be really strong though. Is it Titan of Industry? I think Titan of Industry is kind of poop. Yeah, I think this is good. One, two, three. All right, so let's sort by color. Yeah, Kinnon is non-human. So like literally the only cards are like Urtai and Urza that, that I can't hit. Which is fine. Uh, we don't really have tons of Gotham's. We have one Echo of Eons, which is fine. It's a double Gotham. I was gonna say I like Titan because it's not triple green, but it actually is triple green. So I would say we can play Golos, but we don't have a great way to. I guess Coalition Relic could make... <laughs> we can put a charge counter on it for red and then make white with it as well. I wonder if Golos is better than Kogla. Now I like Kogla. Kogla has a lot of range. Don't put Coalition Relic back. Okay. This is fine. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's actually pretty good. Four... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's pretty good. Yeah, that'll do. All right, let's see what we got here. Yeah, I mean, we don't, but it's still a three, five artifact that works with Urza. Like, he finds a land. Like, I don't know. We can get a tar pit. Like, I think it's still pretty good. I don't think you have to necessarily be able to activate him in every game. <whistles> A 
the Mario song stuck in my head. So that's kind of cool. I guess. Who knows? Who knows if that's cool? Who can say? I will play first. Winning the die roll is super cool. We'll lead with a black here because if we draw Orcish Bowmasters, no, no, Bowmasters, uh, Him to Torok or Dothy Void Walker, is it Void Walker? Then we get to play them. Yeah, if I had a consistent way to, to to make creatures like a Bitter Blossom, I think it'd be a lot better. Without that, I feel like we're just sacking one of our good value creatures for another good value creature. Seems good. I think we're passing and making a bowmaster at the end. Of, making a bowmaster. I always think it's funny when people call when people call playing cards making. We're gonna make a Rona. Are you creating it? Fascinating. We're just going to attack with this guy here. I don't know what kind of nonsense they got going here. Soul Ring to cast your Grim Monolith. Oh, <laughs> it's your boy. Oh, dear. Well, that's a thing. Fascinating. I too have an Oko. Well, we're not attacking, that's for sure. I do not have a Dr. Strawberry and Cream today. I don't even know what that is. Do you mean Dr. Pepper Strawberries and Cream? I feel like my beard's been unruly recently, and it's really frustrating. Yes, you do. <laughs> uh, good times, good times. Okay, they have four cards. We have three cards. That's actually pretty decent. Don't really have a lot of options here. Oh, I should have flipped. Ah, oh, I should have flipped. No, I wanted to keep up air tie, I guess. Oh, they're going to do something. Oh, they're going to crack that. Fantastic. Oh, and then they get to draw, but then they don't get to draw because of Leovold? <laughs> so that works out well. All right. <laughs> Seems good. Oh, time to shave it off, huh? Unlikely. We could also Urtai and just kill their Leovold, and then we have the Leovold. Oh, 
Oh, we're just trading. Okay. Man, I was really hoping for a land there. All right, well, we'll keep that. And what if I want all the cards, though? So the problem is if I discard Kogla, I don't need the second forest. And if I discard the forest, Kogla is harder to cast, but we still can cast him eventually. And I kind of want to tear asunder their Grim Monolith. But I don't want to get rid of either of these. So I think we are just getting rid of Forest here. Thank you. Literally no one needs a picture of Beardless Frank. That's fake news. Dimitri, thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back, my dude. 42 months is wild. Uh, Embark has a vote, so I will Embark as well. I guess we're discarding and drawing seven here. Thank you. Take seven, I guess. Do we play a land this turn? Fascinating. I did not think we played a land this turn. So I have a 9-9. Nine nine. So they have to kill, they have to spend their turn killing this 9-9, nine nine, presumably. <laughs> Hi, have fun. What? Why did he say that? <coughs> Wild. Oh, they had Fire Covenant and just no red source in hand? And Renin 6? That's wild. They had three cards they couldn't cast, I guess. Fire Covenant, Swords of Plowshares, and Renin 6. <sighs> top. Your favorite and mine. Let me guess. Activate the top. You got it. Oh, we just win the game. All right. Guess you can't deal with a 9-9. Nine -nine. <laughs> this is nice because I feel like we're the better uh, sail into... What is it called? Sail into the West deck. Because we have two cards that, that exploit it. They only have the one that we saw. This card... I think this card is absolutely terrible. Not being an instant is super huge in the cube. Like, there's no reason to make that a sorcery. Like, this isn't core. This isn't a core draft. This isn't like an M20 draft where you're like, your premier removal needs to be uh, sorcery speed because it's so good. Like, no. Like, I would almost rather have Heroes Downfall because I think the returning a creature Planeswalker is just not super relevant. You're going to counter this, really? Sure. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> Very weird choice to waste a counter spell on. Like, I feel like there's so many good spells, like, that countering a talisman is just not... They just wanted to feel something, you know? Yep, me too. Me too, buddy. Unless I got a green, which we did. 
Let's get a bayou. Blue, green, this guy, this gentleman, this fine ass gentleman. The Lapore special hasn't caught on though. <laughs> well, that's too bad. They just don't have any class, you know. I I I, I can get it. You got it. <clears throat> okay, so we can play Urza here, which is kind of cool. I guess we get in there. What did we see from them? Like, nothing? There's no, like, flashy spells. They can make a 1-1 one -one here, and that's fine. Yeah, make sure you look at your top three here. <laughs> definitely, definitely look at your top three. Oh, what up, Big Rob? Leovold has so much Riz. What is Riz? I don't even know what Riz is. So I don't know if I can agree with you. I don't disagree with you. I just don't know if I can agree with you. I literally won't take top nor opposition because... Oh, yeah, I actually... That's literally one of the deterrents for me taking opposition because I think it's very good. But there's so many times where I'm like, I just don't want to deal with this. And like, if I don't have enough creatures, it's just not very... It's just, it's just fine. <clears throat> You should do cool channel point stuff like predictions. I have to look into channel point stuff. I probably should do something with them. I feel like I've updated a lot of other aspects of Twitch in my stream recently. So that's definitely like a thing I need to, to conquer next. Do, do, do. Seven more times. Okay. <laughs> Top countdown going strong. They didn't do anything. Okay. Yeah, I guess we're just going to play this guy. And now we're going to attack. Because attacking is cool. They did not attack. I can attack with both of these, and then they just make a guy and block our 3 3, which seems worse. So, yeah, we're just going to attack with the. This beautiful baby boy. Here comes the top. Get busy topping, if you know what I mean. That's what they call it in Yu Gi Oh! when you place well in an event. It sounds so weird as a Magic player. Like, they're like, did you top? <laughs> like, to top is to do well. And it's so funny because I've never heard that in Magic. No one's ever like, oh man, I topped. Really? Okay, you get a 1-1. One, one. I had to draw a card. Chart, of course. I gained some life. Goodbye, Leovold. Do you say swollen event? No. You'd like that, wouldn't you, though? Swole Mike. <clears throat> when you do well in an event, I said. When you top when you top 8 in or top 16 or whatever their cutoff is for an event, they call it topping. Did you top? It sounds so weird. Yeah, I mean, we knew this was happening. Guess we're embarking. I will definitely pitch two lands and two spells. Like, this is going to draw us cards, but we're drawing cards anyway. So we're basically losing this. And that's... This is a pretty good... <clears throat> substitute. I 
Oh my god, you found the, the Golos list? That's hilarious. Oh wow, look at them. Look at them drawing with their Library of Alexandria. They only have five mana, though. It's not a ton of mana. We have five, but our board is much better. Like, we can go Coalition Relic into, into Palantir and attack with a 3-3 three, three and a 4-4 four, four and a, another dude. This guy's big. This could be a big boy. <clears throat> if we had another green, we could Kogla here. What will Frank's record be? Oh, God. Monolith, sure. You're making a bunch of incubator tokens, but you're not really. Did I put Chrome Host Seed Shark in my cube? I feel like I should, because like making all of these is really strong with something like Urza. I'm checking right now. They're also at 10. Oh, I do have it in there. Beautiful. I'm so smart. God, what a smart, what a smart man. What a smart cookie, you know? I voted. <laughs> Dang it, I can't vote. I just click predict and it says get started. Oh, I can vote. Oh, wow. One, two? God, you guys are fucking brutal. You think I'm gonna one, two with this deck? That's That's hurtful. <clears throat> so they can make a 4-4 four, four easily. They could just make three of these guys. I think we have to get in there with everything in order to fall in Shinobi here, which is really what we want to do. I shouldn't have played this, though. So that's that's like fall in Shinobi rule number one. You just don't play your... I think they're going to make 4-4 four, four and block here. I'm just, I don't think they're going to tap their monolith as well. Yeah, they're definitely making the 4-4. Four, four. That was an easy assumption. Probably blocking Urza. Oh, you are just going to tap your monolith and like make two more. Interesting. Hmm. I am fascinated. <clears throat> okay. Well, that is an interesting use of Grim Monolith, that's for sure. Yep. Sure. Oh. Fascinating. All right, fingers crossed this does something because we're losing a bunch of guys here. But this is what we want to do, right? We want to want to fall in shinobi things. Come on, no no two lands. Shark typhoon and elvish reclaimer. All right. Well, let's do that. That could have been worse, for sure. All right, well. And there are four. We got a Kogla in the chamber. We got a Coalition Relic and a Palantir, which make two, three, three sharks. Oh god, that makes me really apprehensive because I'm afraid they're going to play the other half, but I guess we have Kogla to kill it before they can also activate. Like, because they have to play it for five, and then I think melding is seven, right? Yeah, that's a lot, dude. Oh, Field of the Dead. I see what's going on here. 
I feel like they've played a lot of cards, but they haven't gone down in cards much. I guess they drew they drew for the turn. They played a land. They drew another for, with library because they had seven last turn. So they went up to nine, and then they played Urza, land, Sol Ring, and are still at six. So that, I guess that checks out. <clears throat> I did not meld, but we did go 2-1, so that was satisfying. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. So we can go Kogla Phantasmal Image, copy Fallen Shinobi. That would be nifty. Nifty. Plus two, plus two, as long as I throw more lands in the graveyard. There are. We could also just go like. Coalition Relic, which gives us 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 mana. Into Palantir, into Phantasmal Image. It's not super exciting. I think it might just be like Coalition Relic into Kogla. Because I don't think we have anything that we want a Phantasmal Image here. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we have to play this. And then we go 1, 2, 3. Coalition Relic. I gotta go green, green, colorless, green, green, green. <clears throat> Kogla. Big Coca Kogla. Oh, they're going to three to Force of Will. Wild. <clears throat> That's pretty good. Well, all right then. Actually, if they play Might and Weakstone next turn, they could also just meld because they add the two from this to activate. So that's that's something, man. <laughs> Did I just keep saying green? I just kept saying green. That's fine. I don't think we attack here. They can make a 5-5, five, five and it's a pretty, pretty good trade for them. They're at three. Make your 5-5. Five, five. Make it as a man. Oh, they're just cycling. Makes me feel like they... Oh, they only have... No, they have 13 cards and 4 cards in their hand. Um, What did they exile? Leovold. Okay. It makes me feel like they are digging to their Might and Weak Stone because that's a... Might and Weak Stone. Might Stone and Weak Stone. Whatever. Uh, draw two cards and discard. Artifact, instant, and sorcery. You cast this turn costs two less to cast. You gain two. You can activate things twice. <laughs> Create two 1-1 one, one soldier tokens for zero. Exile non-land permanent. Artifacts and planeswalkers you control gain indestructibility until end of turn. Destroy all non-land permanents. Jesus, that's... That's a hell of a thing, man. Yeah, their board is getting a little a little cluttered here. <clears throat> Tempted to Phantasmal Image their Seed Shark and then play Echo of Eons. If we draw Bowmaster into Echo of Eons, that would be actually disgusting. Let's do that. Oh, Slightly Evil Toaster literally said that. <laughs> I have no idea how long ago that was. Wow, that's kind of funny. Yep, get in there with your little 5-5. Five, five. We're going to block with a 3-4 and a 3-3. Three, three. That's an easy trade. Okay, get back. Good job. Probably want to kill a shark, right? Because if we have a way to get rid of your Chrome Host Seed Shark, then we just win. Oh, okay. Well. Yeah. 
Well, that was pretty okay. Fire Covenant. Oh, you're just gonna... Sure. They went to one just to kill the shark? What? Now a Bowmaster just kills you straight up. Oko. Can't we just echo Vions and try to hit Bowmaster? <clears throat> I mean, I guess they could technically get counter swell and forcible back, right? That's the that's the downside. <clears throat> um, it's unlikely they're just gonna probably let us draw cards with Palantir. <laughs> they're probably never gonna never gonna take a damage from Palantir because that would that would kill them. It could get us closer to Bowmaster, that's for sure. I mean, we can play our whole hand here. We can play Phantasmal Image, copy the, the Seed Shark, then play Oko and Palantir to make a bunch of a bunch of dudes. I mean, that would make two 3-3 three, three Flyers and two 3-3 three, three Incubators. We could also play Oko and steal their Seed Shark and and play something else as well. Or we can steal their Urza. No, we can't do that yet. We have to actually take a turn to do. I mean, I'm also just tempted to Echo of Eons and try to hit... Uh... <clears throat> I think we can wait a turn. Like, I'd rather not get rid of these three very good cards. So we're going to play this guy. Copy your CD boy. And then play Oko. And then play Palantir. Oh, we can also make our incubator tokens into three threes with Oko, so that's kind of cool. <clears throat> we can also just make their Chromo Seed Shark and Elk, which I think we're going to do. Like getting rid of one of their flyers makes them significantly deader on board. Like, we're at 16. We have four blockers. We can go block, 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 block. We take three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, maybe. Um, bottom? Probably top, right? They're going to let us draw this. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's maybe we should just be looking for <clears throat> bowmasters, but they don't have any flyers, so they're either gonna have to wrath the board, which puts them in worse shape too, or deal with our three flyers that kill them. So I don't know. There's a lot of things they could have and or draw, like factor fiction. Um. Do they have any way to draw on board? I don't know. I can't see. <laughs> Not really. <clears throat> so we'll put this and this in one pile. I don't want them to have top and tutor because then they just get whatever they, they find. Euro gains them six. Oh, they're at they're at one actually. That's a good point. So if we just give them these two, they 
they have blanks. But no, they can just cast Euro into Vampiric Tutor. That's not that's not great. Maybe I just give them these three. Did they play a land this turn? I don't think so. So if they take this, it's fine. They can easily play Euro. But they can't recast it. And like <clears throat> You can play these two, which is totally fine, but you can't Vampiric Tutor without the life. So I think this this feels okay. Like, I don't care about Worm Coil on board. It doesn't do anything right now. Plus, I can just turn it into an Elk. Phyrexian Shark Elk. A Shelk, if you will. And they took the Euro. Yeah, they might just need the life like post haste. Euro and top is fine. That doesn't give you a lot of play this turn, so. They also have to activate mana confluence to get their other blue or green source, right? Or else they die. So that seems good for us. Are they going to kill themselves? Are they going to ping themselves? I bet they're going to get a land. I bet they're going to get Talarian Academy. Smart. You got it. That's pretty good, man. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. Jesus, that's a lot. And they're going to top to draw. Okay. <clears throat> they got eight blue floating. There it is. There's your boy. So they have four floating. Five, six, seven. Eight. Yeah, they got it. They can make this, dude. XL two non-land permanents. They're killing my shark. Got it. Yep, this is going to be good. This is this is good. <sighs> yep, don't love this, but Man, some some guys have all the luck, you know. God would never let me be successful. He'll kill me first. They do need to exile both flyers. Yes, that's exactly what I was thinking as well. Otherwise, they die. <laughs> so, and I'm pretty sure they get to kill Oko here as well. They just attack with like three two twos, four two twos, or something. How is this karma for not melding? I didn't choose not to meld. I just didn't get the opportunity. It's not like I was able to meld, and I was like, "Yeah, I'm not gonna do it." <clears throat>
Yeah, this is an incorrect attack. You should have just attacked with the 1-1 one, one instead of the 3-3. Three, three. I'm only going to be able to block one guy, so then Oko's taking one and then two of the two twos no matter what, but now I get to eat a 3-3, three, three, so... So, just a little bit better for me. Alright, I feel pretty comfortable going into this next turn. We'll put a charge counter on this guy. Okay, not what we were looking for. <laughs> uh, I guess we'll add a blue here. I'm tempted to play Tarpit because it just wins next turn. My concern is... <clears throat> they have three creatures, but they can make... They can't actually make any more, so they just have the three creatures. And we only have two incubate tokens and this guy. That's God, we're so close. Yeah, the tokens have do not have haste. These these can attack because they're in play. They're just transforming. They're not. So we have three attackers, but they also have three blockers, so. It's unfortunate. Yeah, but they also get Force of Will and Counterspell shuffled back. I guess they can't Counterspell. They'd have to Force of Will. But that, might, that puts us in such a worse position. Like, we're gambling on Echo and hoping they don't hit Counterspell or Force of Will. Whereas if we just play Tar Pit, like we can probably win next turn because they probably can't deal with this. They can't force. You're right. Wow, that's a great point. Yep. All right. So we're gonna echo then. That's that actually so, that sells it for me. Uh, two, one, two, three, four, and we get a six six, which is pretty cool. No Bowmasters, huh? Hmm. I think we do it again. <laughs> so one, two, three... We gotta hit them bows. We did not hit the bows. That's unfortunate. That's really sad that we drew seven cards twice and did not hit Bowmaster. <laughs> that's kind of ridiculous. We made two six sixes though. I guess that's pretty good. We can him to Torok. Uh, attack your face. Because you have to block there. Uh, I'm not going to him because Palantir is going to let us scry two. And they have to let us draw. So we get three more looks. Bottom. Bottom. One time. <sighs> the suffering is real. Well, now we get to give them a full grip. We did play a land, yes. We have two flyers. They got an Urza. I don't know. This is rough. I feel like my I feel like I liked my plan a little better where where it was like make two three threes, attack them, force them to block. Um I don't know. We had play creeping tar pit, and then like they have to be able to deal with our, our land this turn. I guess they did have Oko their uh, Euro, Euro. Draw two cards and discard. You got it. I don't know. There's a tough situation. Like we were trying to hit Bowmasters. We drew fourteen cards. 
didn't get it. This is game two. We are up a game. <sighs> yep, that's pretty good. I feel like they can't effectively get rid of anything that matters. X is zero, so you're just getting rid of all the tokens. Sure. That's fine. It's an interesting choice. You're going to play something. Okay. I will gain three and take two. They also have four minutes and we have seven, so... We're going to just have six because we have nothing to, nothing to do here. Oh, they didn't activate Urza twice. That's interesting. So they could have Counterspell. They could also have Force of Will. One, two, three, four, five. So... We could play Questing Beast. We're definitely playing a land untapped. We want all the mana we can get this turn. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 mana. 4, 5, 6. I think we just lead with Questing Beast. They can force. They can just hard cast it. They have Island, Breeding Pool, Forest, and Sol Ring. Unless I'm missing something. They can't block Questing Beast. Oh, they did Urza twice? They drew twice? Wow, okay. I th it looked like only once, but... I mean, they have to counter this guy or have a way to block it. So. That should tap them out. It's going to be Counterspell. It's going to be Force of Will. Yep, they did have it. Yep. So, let's chart a course here. Make it to you too. Where are my bow boys? I don't think they're here. I don't have any bow boys. This is ridiculous. I don't know where the creatures are in my deck. So we can go like this, play talisman. One, two, three. No, we want to keep up. One, two, three, four. Let's play Urza and keep up a black. Because we're still going to get to look at... Several cards at the end of the turn. And if we just hit the one stupid Bowmaster... That's in our deck somewhere. It's not here. Not here. I should have put a stop at our end step. Because <laughs> now I'm afraid of Counterspell. So we're going to hold it until we really can cast it. God damn it. I, I forgot about the end step on my turn. I should have waited. I should uh, I should have paid attention to that. I have so many stops set that I just figured it was there. But What are you getting back? An island? Good for you. They also have four minutes, so we, they have to win the game in four minutes, which is less than what we have. And that's all that really matters. We're also going to wait. We can hit him to Torok then. They can play cards. Like, there's a lot of options here. Do they negative four? What is the mana value of this guy? Is it five? Is it eight? I really have no idea. Oh, we should have done it there. This is, I think we just gave the game away by not having a stop on our end step. We literally would have won the game, but now I'm just trying to maximize my time because 
Oh, wow, this is fine. Um, Let's put upheaval by itself. Can I? There we go. They took the upheaval. That's fascinating. They took upheaval but didn't cast upheaval. Let's just say black here. That's not going to do the same. Let's play Talisman. Let's play Kinnon. Are they going to counter my Kinnon Bonder? Oh, wow. That's wild. Let's play Thief of Sanity. That's the turn, I guess. Now we do have a stop at our end step. I'll bottom both of these. None of them are exciting. Oh, that's really good. Okay. And I have enough mana for it, so that's pretty cool. I can work as 1-0, right? No, this is... <clears throat> is this match one? This is match one. Okay. Terra Sunder. Got a green. Probably kill Urza here. And... I'm just going to hold back. Play land. Bottom. Bottom. Oh, that's a good one. That's a big fat ape. They just didn't attack, huh? Fascinating. One, two, three, four, five, six. Bottom. We'll keep the tar pit for once. See if it actually does anything. This is a this is a game that's coming down to time for sure. One, two, three, four. Oh, and they got a wasteland as soon as they got a creeping tarpet. That's hilarious. 
Oh, I am being careful. I'm trying to ignore the chat too. Sorry, guys. They have five cards still? Good lord. Are they just attacking here? What's happening right now? What? It's a little Chrome Daddy. Chrome Daddy strikes again. Um, attack Ugin, attack Ugin. So Ugin should die here, right? Is that how that works? Oh, you had two guys still. You had three guys? So many blockers. Uh, bottom and bottom. Yeah, we might have had the win. I could have killed their 1-1 with the Bowmaster, but I just didn't have the time. Like, I don't have the, like, the like there's just so much going on, and I have 50 seconds on the stack, so I don't actually have time to figure out if I can do that. <laughs> I'm trying on the time metric. Oh, yeah, see, I mean, there's there's multiple different metrics I could have won then. I could have actually played Bowmasters, kill one of their blockers, and attack them, and then at least one of my creatures gets in for three power against their face. Um, so yeah. They also had one card in their library. Wow. Yeah. It was unlikely they were going to win. Like we had min and 24, they had 46. So we weren't that far behind. And like any play that you make could literally take 20 to 30 seconds. Like it's really. So we were just going for time. Cause like, even if we lose this game, we have another game. And actually Palantir was probably the biggest uh, issue that we had because that's taking up like 10 seconds a turn with the two scrying and the drawing the card and the three triggers. Uh, yeah, we'll keep this. Well, I hope they had fun. <laughs> this is draft number one, Chorwit. Good afternoon, America. Good afternoon, Sweden. What up, Bjorn? Oh, Neon Tokyo, you want to see? This is the pug head, and these are two little feet, I guess. I have to decompress real quick because I'm in the I get in the mode of I have to play really fast after I after a game comes that close to time like my brain speeds up very very quickly and I'm like okay I have to make all my plays really quickly and then I have to like reacclimate to a slower playing speed. Does that happen to anyone else? Whew. Okay. With all these lands, let's start let's start looting them away. I did just rush into the next one. I think it's because I felt like it was taking so long. I was like, okay, let's let's loot here. See if we can get one of our premier three drops. <laughs> that's a premier three drop. Oh, and we does it is this a legendary spell? Oh, that's fantastic. Um, let's get rid of one island here. And then you know what? We'll play an island too. One, two, three. Oh man. Untap Sorona. Fuck. What in, what in the earth, man? Let's make a food. She got a hat? 
So we can actually block and then loot again. That seems really good. Sure, I'm game. Remember that time I tried to loot to find a three drop and then we found an Oko and it was like the best three drop that ever lived? That just feels good. Pretty! Pretty! Pretty, pretty good. What is this going to do? You're going to hit my food token? That ain't great. You could do better, you know? You got to attack Oko, right? Yeah. No Joko, bro. No Joko, broco. I'm going to get rid of Forest here. Could have also just let Oko take three and then attacked with Rona, but then they just block, so we're not getting in with Fallen Shinobi, I guess. Oh my god, this is so much mana, dude. Let's turn blue, 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 black, black, black. I guess they're both even, huh? Yep, you got it. I said you got it. Tina, eat your ham. What up, Ambassador Tony? Oh, that's a good one. I mean, it's an elk, but it's a good it's a good elk, you know. So wait, I get to plus Oko to make this an elk. Uh, I don't get it. I do not understand this card. Or we can exchange like a talisman for this. And then we get to keep it. <sighs> oh, Lordy. My beard's been great for like five years. <laughs> we can't take hero because it's three or less. With power three or less. Why not? Why can't we take hero? Watch this. Look. This one for this one. I'm even going to tap it first. Look. This one for this one. Look, I took it. Don't tell me what I can't do. You know what? I'm just going to waste the mana too. Watch. We're going to see if we can get in there with a... Oh, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Oh my god. This is like... This is just Chef's Kiss City. Oh, that does it! I was like, they're not gonna like this. Oh, man. Steal your hero of Blade Hold of Oko. Get you with a fallen shinobi. What more can you ask for, really? You know? I wrong you. <laughs> yeah. AMC, I appreciate you, though. You tried. This is a match where I almost just want this to kill like Arrow of Blade Hold or something stupid. Because we don't have a ton of great ways to deal with a Hero of Blade Hold. Here, let's trade. Alright, now give it give it back. Oh god. You know, I I, I feel like Ugin might be good here. Except that it's just like expensive, but we have we have a normal amount of lands, plus we have Talisman Talisman Relic. And Kinnon. Like, actually, we have a lot of ways to to Ugin here. I'm going to take out Phantasmal Image and bring in Ugin. You know why? Because I'm a maniac, that's why. Titan of Industry might be good, too. Let's take out Voidwalker for Titan. 
Look at this. Look at us living these dreams. We're just playing a bunch of big fat idiots now. What, they're playing an aggressive deck? Let's board in a 7 and 8 drop. Fantastic. Oh, the AMC with the sub. Kerr with the gifted sub. Appreciate you. Appreciate you both. If we can draw Bayou here, it would be amazing, because then we can go him into Leovold. Look, we drew both Titan and Ugin. They were like, you want these cards? We'll give them both to you. We'll give them both to you. And well, that's not a Bayou, but we still got another chance. We got one more chance. You only get one shot. Okay, it's not a Bayou either, but it does straight up kill a selfless spirit. So that's pretty cool. Can I just play this now? Sure feels like it, right? Gargoyles would be a sick, a sick expansion for Lorcana, and I I actually feel like it's very reasonable. Skull clamp. I got Bowmaster, bro. <laughs> okay, this is a lot of blue mana. I, I feel like you're getting a little getting a little carried away here. I'm not gonna attack because they could have like Cathar Commando, which I just don't feel like running my Orgish Bowmaster into. Path to exile. Now I can get a green? Gas. You don't know what you've done, you fool. Wow. No, don't like that. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. Wow, that's so good. It's yeah. good. Jesus. That is shockingly good. Do we think we can hit a black source? I believe we can hit a black source, and that's why we're doing it. It's going to be a black source right on top. He's terrible at this game. Absolutely terrible. Just like the worst. He could have had a Leovold. I need a black source anyway. Oh, wow. That's brutal. Not brutal, but it's... We're going to four. Jesus, this card is fantastic. Hmm. Going to three. Would the two cards I boarded out be better here? What did I board out? Phantasmal Image wouldn't have done much. What was the other thing I boarded out? Let's find out. Dothy Voidwalker wouldn't have done anything either. We couldn't even cast it. So, like, if we block two, we take six. Yeah, we would have had to draw Lotus ourselves in order to have done, th done anything there. I often board out on a Saturday afternoon. Does that mean you get bored? Because I feel like in the age of 2023, it's the age of 2023, you can't get bored. It's just, you just can't. That's a hand. That's a beautiful hand. We're going to be drawing cards for years. Maybe you can't. You shouldn't be able to either. You have the, the, 
the entirety of human knowledge and creation at your disposal. Are they gonna man? No, they took mana tide out. So I don't even care what whatever, whatever you're doing. It's stupid. Oh, it's your boy. Oh. The combo. Oh, they didn't play anything. That's pretty cool. Ooh, coalition relics, nice. Palantir is Palantir is better though, right? You want to start having it build. What's the verdict? What are you gonna do here, my man? You're gonna play a Cathar Commando, which we which we were afraid of last time. Um, this guy's not coming out for a while. Actually, if we go four, this comes out in two turns. If next turn we go relic, so we'd have four five. Put a counter on this is six on the next turn, then plus the land. We'd have five lands and two from this. Actually, I do think we keep that. Plus, it's better than just hitting a land. Oh, they put it on the bottom. And the bottom, I mean, graveyard. I guess we should have expected that. That's unfortunate. That's a lot of damage. Oh, they took the seven, though. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh, that's hilarious. That's pretty good. He didn't like being put in the garbage. Do you think they're just going to instantly kill this Palantir because it's good? But it's where he belongs. <laughs> Harsh, but fair. Oh, we're having a good time. See, this, this is a person that I feel like is actually being friendly. This is what a friendly person looks like. Let's see if they kill this guy. They're probably just going to kill this guy, right? Oh, no. <gasps> oh! Oh! Oh, shit. <laughs> That's the absolute worst. What's that? You had to play a land to cast your... Uh, cast your gentleman? Interesting. With the trigger on the stack. Not ideal. Um, I don't think I... Actually... I want to put this on top and then this on top of that. Because we can play both next turn. Or we can play Coalition Relic... And the other one. So there are three. Well, that's great, but I got a creeping tar pit, my man. You can't even hit this guy. Because he costs five, not four, right? I feel like everything's coming up Millhouse. All right, well, <laughs> that'll do. That'll do. Remember, the, who who is it that said we were going to go one, two? Hmm. Babe, what did you vote in the in the poll? What was your, what was your vote? Because I really need to know where you stand in terms of my record. And what you thought it would be. Yeah, get wrecked, non-believers. I'm going to keep this. 
I mean, we're 2-1. I'll take a 2-1 because it's just a free roll. And when you're making content and you're drafting for fun and you want to keep drafting because you're making content and streaming, the 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 best you could possibly ask for is um, just being able to get a free draft out of it. Just keep going. That's what's known as going infinite. No bellies. Good game. Unbanned second sunrise. Please stop it. Please leave. You were a madman with the Palantir, my dude. That was wild. You were just taken. You took like 10 damage. It's no way to live your life. Quite literally, because you'll die. I think we're just playing Talisman here. I'd rather him them when we can hit a little bit better of cards, maybe? No bellies. Oh, non-believers. Fascinating. I see. This is aggressive. See, now they got three cards in hand. Oh, God, am I just going to help them? Thank you. Oh, that's no good. Hmm. My friend is a modern burn deck based around Palantir. You ever flipped over Thunderous Wrath? <laughs> well, I guess you're taking six anyway. Oh, that's pretty good. So we're going to go black, black. This feels bad. Okay, Deluge and Dire Fleet. That's, an, that's okay. This, I don't like the borders on some of these because they look like artifacts. This looks like an artifact, right? It's just so shiny. It looks like metal. Frankie don't like. Unbanned Blazing Shoal in Modern. God, you kids. I feel like they're doing well on the aggressive front here. Where are my cheap things at? I only have one card, so really we just have to work around. We can play Urtai next turn, or we can just block with Creeping Tar Pit even. And next turn we can play Big Fat Ape. We can even discard a land to, to Una's Prowler to kind of... stifle some of the damage. I guess we could just Urtai and kill the Unis Prowler too. Or the Bow Boys. Those Bow Boys are at it again. Yeah, this feels fine. I'd rather do this than have them draw a card when they have two in hand. Oh, and then they just didn't do anything. That's that's good for us. It's your boy. Going to kill your bowmans. I'm sure this guy's dead, but maybe he ain't dead. Uh should we we should consider unbanning Splinter Twin in incorrect. Incorrect. I have a whole rant about Splinter Twin. Oh, the, okay. That's fine. Not great, but fine. And it's our turn again. One, two, three. Activate one, two. We're not there yet. I do want to keep up your boy. So we're just going to play this and play a land. Yes, I mean how not fun Splinter Twi Twin is. It it promotes unfun play patterns. Um, it's just not... It's just not a healthy card. Like, there, are, it, it just promotes a modern format where you have to keep your mana up. There are other decks that are similarly strong... As Splinter Twin, right? Like, it's not like it's... It's not like it's the most strong thing in modern... 
But the fact that they can tap out on turn, if you tap out on turn three, you probably just lose. Like they can play Splinter Twin or Pestermite or Pestermite or Receiver Exarch and then untap and, and twin you. It's just, it's just not fun. Yeah, we're just going to play Bloom and Marsh and keep on keeping on. What's the best thing we can draw next turn? Charter course into something? A twin's not similar to creativity, though. Creativity is a sorcery, and it gives you... It's not casting Emrakul, right? Like, you're putting Emrakul into play, but you're not casting it, so you still get to pass the turn, and your opponent still gets to do things. Like, they can play adjacent, bounce it. They can oblivion. Like, there's there's things you can do. One, two, three, four. This beautiful boy. And this beautiful boy. I'm getting there for seven. It's a two turn clock. Beautiful. Ah. Hmm. I feel like we're doing pretty good. I don't think I need to board anything out or in. Um, If we can hit a black, I think this hand is amazing. We're also on the draw. It's very possible. <sighs> Nailed it. Wow, that's really good. So now we get Baleful Strix into Oko into Fallen Shinobi, and if we don't hit a land, we get into Thoughts... Thought Thief of Sanity? Nailed it. You just gotta hope they don't have Bowmasters this game too, you know? Oh, they don't. Or they do, and they're just gonna play it now. Uh, I think Jitte would actually be fine. Oh, I, we have our own Bowmasters. God, is Blazing... Is Baleful Strix just worse when they have Bow Boys? They were going to play something and then they decided against it. I'm just going to pass here, and if they want to Bowmaster us, we can Bowmaster back. Oh, yes. Gotti! Successfully predicted. Beautiful. Wow. That tap and unto untap they did was like, I was like, wait a minute. Oh, weird. <laughs> Reanimate Bowmaster. All right. Well, that's a thing, I guess. Phenomenal. Did not see the Reanimate Bowmaster coming. Um. I'm going to get rid of Belfel Strix here. It's not good. It just dies immediately, so, you know. Talisman. Yeah, I'm very tempted to image this and then kill it. So, like, that feels fine. Look at this meta, dude. This is the Bowmaster meta. Now it is my turn to get in. They're going to kill it again. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, do we get to... Oh my, we're going to fall on Shinobi again? Oh, come on. Let's hit some goodies. Let's hit some Gemithies. Unless they want to just trade, which is also fine with me. They might. They might... Oh! They didn't trade. No lands. What? <laughs> Let's cast this guy. Oh, hot shit. Uh, let's get a seed shark. 
And oh, we just win. Just win the game, I guess. That's all it takes. Why didn't you just block? I don't know. Seems good. Thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check out HelloFresh. 50% off your first box along with free shipping. It's a great way to support the channel. I get a sweet kickback. No one has subscribed this time yet, unfortunately. I think everyone got it last time. But if you guys haven't, everyone I speak to loves HelloFresh. So definitely consider checking them out. It's a great way to get some, some delicious food and also support the channel. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.